Robin from uh, River City Rod and Fabrication. Um, today we have something a little different in the shop. Rather than hot, building hot rods, we are installing a Whipple Supercharger on a 2017 Silverado. Um, we're going to walk you through this process, uh, kind of high level, and uh, one of the first things I wanted to point out with this Whipple Supercharger is the packaging. Packaging is extremely important. Um, the, these come packaged very, very well. One box containing the supercharger, the other, all of the components, very well labeled. We have ins the instructions. Um, I haven't even went through these yet. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, get busy unpackaging this stuff. And we'll do a video of the components and walk you through the next step of the tuning side. They're, these come with a calibration and we will get the, the tune installed, then we start on the install. parts unpackaged we've inventoried the parts um, we have the supercharger here we have the intercooler we're going to be installing an intercooler on this engine um, all of the hoses the brackets the uh, intercooler down here um, this engine is a 6.2 liter um, from the factory it makes 420 horsepower I believe uh, we'll probably be over 600 um, when we're done, we'll be dyno tuning the engine. Um, this engine actually, uh, this truck actually has a, a long tube headers and uh, aftermarket exhaust as well as a cold air induction. So uh, the next step will be to download the tune. I will move over there and show you a little bit of that. Okay, so now we are in the vehicle. The uh, one thing you want to do is read through all of the instructions. The uh, first thing that they say to do is download the tune. Um, you need to send the tune off to Whipple and they make the correct ca calibrations, send it back to you. You've reflashed to ECU and then you can get started with your work. It seems backwards, but the main reason for that is the uh, it can take up to 48 hours to get that calibration back. So you kind of want to get that started right away. So the first thing we had to do was install our HP tuner. Um, we opted for the HP tuner. I believe they have um, other uh, tuning software. Um, I'm more familiar with HP tuner, so we used HP tuner. Um, We've installed the HP Tuner, we've gathered our information, we've sent our emails off to HP Tuner and to um, Whipple, and we are waiting for the tune back, and we will move forward with the uh, installation. Subscribe, follow us on Instagram and Facebook.